a dire warning on climate change. If you're battling Mother Nature, you're likely to lose. The damage is particularly devastating for farmers. Irreversible damage are the worst flooding in a lifetime. But nearly a million species are at risk of extinction. Our research is about trying to understand how nature works. What are the rules that govern how ecosystems organize? How small-scale interactions between uh, plants and animals lead to large-scale um, regular patterns and how we might be able to use those patterns to infer the health of ecosystems. If you start out with a healthy ecosystem with very continuous vegetation cover and you start decreasing the rainfall. The system will go through a series of patterns. First, the gaps will form in the vegetation, then a labyrinth pattern of vegetation will occur, then you'll just have a few spots of vegetation, and the next step is desert. Drylands and savannas support a very large percent of the population and they're extremely sensitive to climatic change. So trying to understand whether we can indeed come up with some early warning indicators for these regions is extremely important for roughly 40% of the population of the globe. One of the surprising things that this work has uh, led us to discover is the critically important role of termites in African savanna ecosystems and that termite activity in the soil actually helps to buffer ecosystems against the effects of climate change. Termite mounds are very rich in um, nutrients. They create these little survival islands. So basically, when the rest of the system is in danger of collapse because the precipitation has decreased, some plants can still survive on the termite mounds. If the precipitation comes back, then these survival islands can reseed the rest of the ecosystem and the plants can flourish again. We are experimenting at Impala Research Center with building spatial patterns by adding nutrients in the very regular spatial patterns that are associated with termite mounds. We want to see whether this kind of man-made spatial pattern can actually boost the productivity of the system and allow for these survival islands to establish themselves.